Hello, my friends. Hey, today is a great big day. Today, Myra and Peggy and Janelle are going to meet with me at lunch and we're going to vlog. Also, I wanted to talk to you about what happened to me uh, in my P3 last round because I just kind of gave a quickie update yesterday. So today, let me give a little bit more detail. So I finished last round and I stabilized, or my LAW was 148, and I stabilized at 148, 149, 150, just kind of hung around there, you know, back and forth. And um, I was all good, felt really good, but knew, okay, you know, I probably still have about another 10 pounds to go if I want to um, be you know, at my very, very best, you know, and just make sure that all the abnormal fat is off and whatever is left is obviously extra skin because I definitely believe I might have some of that, but I also believe that um, probably 130s is more uh, realistic as far as having the perfect body, which I want to do that just for me. I just want to do that for me and I don't want to sit at that perfect body for a minute sneeze and be back up to uh, a higher weight. I want to have a perfect body and keep that perfect body because it's time for me to take care of me. For once in my life, I mean, don't we all take care of everyone else? We take care of our boyfriends, spouses, partners. We take care of our kids and, um, you know, in, in that we put ourselves second. And I notice I do that with, you know, when I'm doing, uh, a lot of activities like even when I'm riding or when I'm going to school or whatever I'm doing I I tend to get into the um, task and forget about me so last round after last round and I stabilized for a while I went to Janelle's house her and I went to this accounts payable workshop and um, when we got back I went into her house and I sat down and talked to her family and played with her kids. She has little babies and stuff. And so anyway, we were all talking and having a great time and her husband is talking to me and he gets up from his computer desk and he says, just like this, you're too skinny. And I was, you know, like 148, 149, somewhere in there that day. And I went, Haha, I'm not too skinny. I'm not too skinny. And then within a week, I had gone up 10 pounds with his voice playing in my head. You're too skinny. I mean, I literally felt like I was hearing his voice and I was hearing and I was seeing that look on his face. And it was so negative, but you know what? Words have power. I believe that words have power. And if we believe what somebody says, we can walk into that. I mean, it just can come to pass if we receive that. I received his words and I was like, what the heck just happened to me? You know, when the week was over and I, I realized that well, while it was happening, I didn't realize it was happening or I could have stopped it or could have gotten a hold of myself, but I didn't realize what was happening. And being with the personality, I think I've talked about the Myers-Briggs personality test, ENFP, um, we tend to be kind of people pleasers, duh, if you've known me for very long, I'm a bit of a people pleaser and I, it's, it's, a, it's a weak area and I need to work on that and not give a flying rip and quit pleasing people and please whatever just be more healthy and balanced about that so anyway I'm working on that <clears throat> but I didn't get a hold of it and so it got away from me and when I realized it my weight started going back down it was absolutely insane I mean you know if we don't recognize a problem that we're having it can take a hold of us and it can lead us and it can um, cause us to walk in those words so anyway that's exactly what happened to me and oh my gosh so I don't want that to happen to me again so back to my story 
So here I am in another round, and I'm in a terrible spot for lighting, so I'll move a little bit. Here I am in another round, and um, I'm yesterday, a friend of mine from work, her husband was there, and he said, oh, hi, whoa, you're skinny. And see, right now, I'm like, my LIW when I was, you know, 148, 149, when Kevin said I was too skinny, that was then. Now, this was Todd, and he says, wow, you're so skinny. And then when I walked away, he says to his wife, she's so skinny. You know, because I knew, I've known him for years. And so I was like, okay, Steph, don't, don't do that. And I'm on 55 this morning. So I'm on like day four, VLCD four, five, somewhere in there. I'll um, get more uh, organized uh, this weekend. I'm going to vlog and show you my garden and all these great things. You, you have to see my protocol garden. You're not going to believe it. It's amazing. Anyway, so... Um, so I'm just trying to psych myself up, like don't let that get to you, Steph. Do not receive that. You're not too skinny. You looked in the mirror. So yesterday I did. I looked in the mirror. I did kind of like a body shot video. And um, anyways, so um, I just decided that um, I need to not listen to what other people say and not um, worry about them and realize that, you know, I'm really prone to receiving either praise or discouragement and letting it rule me. So I'm going to really try not to do that this round. And, um, even in my P3, P4, I'm not going to let other people's stuff rule my life. So it was kind of like just this psychological thing. And so, um, don't receive other people's crap. That's all I got to say because this is our journey and I really want to uh, stay on track. And this morning, Missy had this awesome, awesome video about staying connected to the community. And I realized too that, you know, that was part of my problem. I was so disconnected because I was doing class, the, the payroll class that um, got away from me. We need accountability. We need each other. And I love you guys so much. And, um, gosh, <laughs> every time I talk about love relationships, it makes me want to cry. Look, my eyes are getting all teared up. Anyway, so love you guys. You mean a lot to me. And, um, it's really a powerful community and I don't want to ever lose track again. And thank you, Missy, for the awesome vlog this morning. It was a great reminder that we need to stay plugged in and use our great examples like, um, Miss HCG girl, like, um, who else is so great about that? Donna and, um, the other people that have been around for a long time. Thanks a bunch. Love you all. Bye.